Hello guys, so this video is all about closed XML with .NET MVC 5. So I have used Visual Studio 17 uh, to give you a quick, quick demonstration of how to create an Excel sheet using closed XML in MVC 5. Uh, in the following videos, we will be discussing much advanced features of closed XML all. But to start with, we'll, uh, you'll take a quick, we will take a quick uh, uh, look. I have created just a sample project here. Uh, this project is dot basic uh, uh, template which comes with Visual Studio uh, for MVC5. Uh, within this, what you have to do is you have to go under Tools, your NuGet Package Manager. Within this Package Manager, we'll look for closed XML here. Uh, closed XML here. Uh, we will install closed XML within our project and once it is installed which I have all you can see I have already installed we are good to go with our programming so I have already installed it within my uh, system within my pr project now in terms of coding what we have to do is this Excel workbook it comes under the namespace closed XML dot Excel okay so excel workbook is just like creating a simple excel file we will be mapping this code with a sample excel so that we can understand what exactly we are doing and what output we can expect so here once you write this line of code excel workbook is equal to, is equal to new excel workbook that means you have opened an excel sheet okay now i'm what i'm doing is once you have opened an excel sheet you need to add this thing this is your worksheet which we some people call it as a workbook so you have to add a worksheet into your complete excel sheet so that is being done here that we write workbook dot worksheets dot add and then we have to give give name to our worksheet which default comes with the name sheet one sheet two or something okay so what i have given name here is pine tech so i will give the same name to this worksheet here with P capital so till here what we have done is we have created this worksheet now what we want to do is we want to write something right up here okay so if I want to write something up right up here this each block is called as cell in terms of X this is an Excel language so one who has done some training on Excel sheet they will understand it this is called as cell so within the cell we are naming row 1 and column 1 if you if you go through this it's basically row number and column number so row one and column one that means this cell we have to put some value into that place that is dot set value and we have written pine actual sheet we can write some uh what else we can write here our demo excel sheet i think that's good enough now this is something which we have already till here we have already created our excel sheet now we need to save it so either you can save it directly onto your server uh, that is easy busy thing you can write worksheet dot save and everything or what you can do is you can download this thing because in mvc when you you hit a query you need a response so you basically you what what we want to do is we want to create an actual sheet dynamically on the server and download it so to download it we need to save our actual sheet into the memory stream that's the only way possible and this memory stream is a class under system.io that is .NET class it has nothing to do with actual sheet using system.io okay so we have used dotnet's memory stream we have saved our excel sheet okay this excel sheet as memory stream and we have to seek position zero this line is very important without this line your excel sheet will be corrupted and you will not be able to read any data basically you are seeking position to zero somewhere you will see the seek syntax as well which we will discuss later on and then you are returning a file stream result of .NET, okay, where you are giving it the type, what exactly is the type of sheet. So this is an extension which comes for Excel XX, uh, Excel sheets. So uh, 
So and, and here you are giving this entire Excel sheet some name. So what we will do here is we will save our file with the name uh, save if we are saving it. We will save it uh, somewhere on my desktop. Uh, in my on my desktop only under the hobby folder within my whole hobby folder only uh, there you go so we'll give this sheet a name as excel one that is our first uh, file which we are developing under this series of tutorial so i have saved it with, with excel one so i will give it the same name that is excel one so this is the name of the entire excel sheet so just to verify whatever I have said is right or wrong, we'll just run it. Once we run it, what we have I have done is I have given uh, this a simple Excel sheet link here. Clicking on this will take me to this method. I'll put a breakpoint here. So once I hit it, simple Excel. So this takes me here. My workbook is created. Excel is created. I have added my worksheet. I have added some value. Then I have saved it into my memory stream and then I say download it. Once I say download it, you can see that in my browser, I already have a file downloaded as excel1.xlxx. So if I open it up, say you, you can see the name is constant. Okay, we cannot open two, that means we have opened the last one as well. So I'll close it, I'll go to my download section. Oops, yes and i'll open it so yeah see our demo excel sheet this is not very formal uh, formatted i mean this should have been formatted something like this that we'll learn later on but for now it is easy peasy creating an excel sheet using closed xml okay i hope you like this video in the next tutorial we will focus on formatting this sheet properly adding image to it and all other advanced features of closed XML. Thank you.